Today we'll be reviewing part number 9106. This is Redline's replacement exterior pop-up roof vent. It's made from a steel construction. It's got a nice black finish on it. The rugged heavy-duty steel vent is made to last. It's got a two-way pop-up lid that's going to give you the choice of opening the vent toward either the front or the back. It will adjust in steps from fully closed to fully open, giving you complete control over the amount of airflow. It's got a convenient lever that's going to span the entire length of the vent. So it's easy to find, it's very easy to operate. If you want to open up the vent, all you got to do is lift up on that lever. It's going to pop the vent open, so you can do it that way. You can also rotate it down, so that way it opens up the bottom of the vent. Really simple operation. It's also going to feature a built-in heavy-duty screen. You can kind of see that from the back. That's going to keep out bugs, leaves, and any other outdoor things that you don't want in your trailer. Again, it's got the nice black paint finish, so it's going to be very durable and attractive. Uh, the gasket is included to help prevent leaks. There is an interior trim piece, part number 2756, that's going to be sold separately, and that just adds a finishing touch to the inside of your trailer. If we take a look at the back side, the rough opening size is going to give us a measurement of 11 and 1 of an inch. by five and a half inches. The overall dimensions from edge to edge it's going to be about eight inches in width and the overall length is going to be about thirteen and a half. If we measure the overall height that's going to be about three and a half inches tall. Now when it's installed, the vent is going to extend above the roof in the closed position about two and a half inches. Well, when it's open, that measurement is going to increase to about five inches. Here on the inside, you have the bar or the handle. That's going to give us an overall length from edge to edge of about ten and one quarter of an inch. And the distance that it's going to actually sit um, past the, the flange, this portion here, it's going to be about one inch, so it just sits above that about one inch. In order to install this, you're going to need 12 screws. Those are sold separately, and that's going to be required for installation. The hole diameters for the screw holes are going to measure 3 sixteenths of an inch, so it's going to fit number eight screws. You can find those right here at eTrailer.com. And again, you have the nice little gasket um, that's included to help prevent leaks, so that just goes in between, and all the holes are going to line up nicely with each other. That's going to do it for today's review of part number 9106. This is Redline's replacement exterior pop-up roof vent.